Hey, hello guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu operating system on your Android phone. Okay, so in this guide, we are going to install Ubuntu 23.10, which is the latest version. So for that, open any web browser and type Mahesh Technicals. Then you will get this domain, which is MahesTechnicals.com. Just open that website. Then you will find this article, which is how to install Ubuntu 23.10 on Android without root. Yes, guys, you can install this operating system without root. If you not found this article here, just click on search bar and type Ubuntu and press enter. Then you will successfully find this article. Okay, so just open this article. In this article, I'll give you all the instructions which require to install Ubuntu 23.10 on your Android phone without root. So let me show you. First of all, you need to download two application which is Termux and VNC Fever. So both links available in the download section here. So you can download it. I already downloaded and installed on my phone. So you need to download these two applications. Okay. After that, you need to follow my guide step by step and you will able to use Ubuntu operating system on your Android phone without root. Okay, so now you can see how you can install. First of all, open the Termux application, allow the permissions, then wait here. Now, okay, so our Termux is set up. Now, we need some commands to install Ubuntu operating system. So for that, go to my website and in the how to install section here you will find first command which is apt update it will update your packages on the terminals so let me copy paste this command and press enter make sure your internet is working otherwise you will get an errors okay so apt update is successfully done now the next command is apt upgrade so just copy that command and paste it in your terminal okay so while upgrading your packages it will ask yes or no so just type y and press enter again and again until you get to another sign okay so our upgrade process is also done now the next we need to install curl package so just copy this command and paste into your terminal it will not take too much time okay so just press enter and it will done now the next command is to give storage permission to the termux application to access your internal storage okay Make sure while you are installing Ubuntu, you have at least 10 GB of free space in your internal storage. Otherwise, you will not able to install Ubuntu operating system on your Android phone. Okay, so when you type storage command, it will ask for yes or no, then allow it. Then we need to install Ubuntu operating system installation script. So just copy this command and paste here and press enter so this is the tool guys it will automatically download and install Ubuntu operating system on your android phone this tool from technical board so all credit goes to him so he created that script so all credit goes to him so just type y and press enter it will take guys 15 to 25 minutes to complete in the installing uh, while installing you will prompt it for many questions like region keyboard layout time zone so you need to select according to you i'm going to give you timestamp here so don't worry you can skip that part directly and you can see this is the region option so i'm going to select asia region so just press enter then here you need to select which time zone you want to use so i'm going to use kolkata because i am from india so kolkata is on 20, uh, 44 number so i'm going to type 44 now it will start processing again so wait until you will get any question or uh, your process will be completed okay 
so it will take too much time according to your internet per internet connection so make sure your internet connection is stable okay Okay, so now it is asking for keyboard layout stuffs. So you need to select keyboard as per your choice, but I'm going to use English US. Okay, so which is on 32 number. So I'm going to type 32 and press enter. So let me show you which is I'm using. I'm using English US keyboard. Okay, okay. So you need to select according to you or you can follow me. So now here you need to type one and press enter. Now again, press type 1 and press enter now it will start some processing again Okay, so now it is asking for user Ubuntu password. So you need to set that. So just type eight times zero. You can set normal password guys. So you can remember it. Whenever it asks, just type the same password here. And press enter. Okay, so now it is asking for VNC password. So you need to set VNC password again. So I'm going to recommend you to set all the password is same. Okay, don't change. Otherwise you will forgot or you can write somewhere else. So here type end and press enter. It means no and press enter. Okay, so now here it is starting your vnc server then it will kill automatically then it will set all the configuration in your termux application so wait until the process is complete okay when you see this type of screen then it means your ubuntu operating system is successfully installed on your termux application so as per our article we reach here so let me show you okay so you can see we reach here we did the job done now we need to access our ubuntu operating system as terminal so for that just copy this command which is ubuntu then paste and press enter and now you are in the ubuntu operating system so here you can use any ubuntu commands so i am for demonstration, I'm using apt update and it will work guys. Okay, because you are using Ubuntu terminal based operating system right now. Okay, so for that you can easily use terminal. So let me show you if you are want to use root permission as well. So you can use root permission as well for that. Just type sudo su and press enter. Then by default password is Ubuntu just paste here and press enter you can see we are in the sudo su root permission okay root privilege i'm going to type exit okay i'm the local user now now let me show you now you are using terminal base let me show you how you can use gui based it means how you can connect through your vnc server for that just you need to type what command which is vnc start just copy and paste here press enter and your vnc port is successfully enabled you can see 5901 you can see here now minimize the termux application open vnc viewer application click on plus icon here 
in the IP address type 127.0.0.1 colon 5901 which is your VNC server port. In the machine name you can type anything but I am going to type Ubuntu OS. Here you need to select image picture quality which is high. Okay. So all these steps are present in my website. So you can see that. So you can easily copy paste and directly connect to your VNC server without any error. Okay. So now click on connect. It will ask for your VNC password which we set in before. So I'm going to paste and skip here and you can see all your Ubuntu operating system is now your using GUI interface on your Android phone. Let me show you some changes. Okay, so let me first check web browser or internet is working or not. So first time it will take some time when you use multiple times it will run faster. Okay. So you can see web browser is working. Let me show you internet is working or not. So for that, let me open any website. Let me open Facebook. Okay, so internet is working fine and I already checked sound. It will also working fine with no errors in a sound. Okay, so sound also working perfectly. You can see terminal also working. You can use terminal from here as well. Okay. So let me change some settings here, go to settings panel, then go to first option appearance, then click on second, which is convert our desktop to dark desktop, dark mode. Okay. So it is looking good now. Okay. So let me show you, you can see all the menus in the dark mode. Now, now let me open our terminal again. You can see terminal also in the dark mode and let me change our wallpaper wallpaper as well. You can see now it's looking good. You can download wallpaper from internet and set as well. So just open terminal and you can see terminal also in the dark mode. Okay. So now it's looking good. Now let me show you our file manager. If you are using super user permission here, root user then you can access your internal storage as well. So you can easily copy or paste your internal storage files and folders here or you can vice versa. Okay, you can use it. So with this way, you can easily install Ubuntu operating system on your Android phone without any error. Okay, let me show you one more step. So if you want if your work is done and you want to stop your VNC server, just type VNC stop command and press enter that's it with this way you can easily disable your vhc you can see now you're not able to connect because you stopped the vnc server okay so we did the all these things here you can see we did all these things so with this way you can easily install over to operating system let me show you one more thing which is if you exit termux from here or your Termux is by mistakenly disabled then open Termux again and type Ubuntu you are logging in your Ubuntu operating system then type VNC start okay so your VNC server is started now you can easily connect again with your VNC server application you can see VNC viewer application is working right now so with this way you can easily install Ubuntu operating system on your Android phone so if you like this video please like share this video with your friends and family and thank you so much for watching guys if you have any questions you can comment below thank you so much for watching